Okay, so the afternoon uh, speeches are finished and we're all heading off for a bit of lunch. Um, back at 8 o'clock to see Martin Kenny and I saw him earlier on coming into the building. If you thought the model he had on Globebusters show was big, it was a couple of trips and two very large, very, very large uh, bar circles and one huge, enormous, the size of a 12-seater uh, dining table that was being brought in. So I'm all wrapped up, so no idea what we're going to see, but really looking forward to it. There's Rob again. <laughs> Look, indeed, he's even cleaning up now. Amazing. I think they'll sleep there and Gary tonight. Take you down the other end, guys. A little one that. Quick hi to Cammy, she's online there. Really? Yeah. Hey, Cammy. Oh, oh no, you're that way, you're that way. It's me, I, I've got the stick wrong. <laughs> So you can see just everybody's buzzing, little groups having to discuss what we've all seen. There's Sean, here the last speech. Missed the beginning of it, unfortunately, but really inspirational, I think. I'll try and get a nice summary of his speech. Certainly one, one to catch. Hi. Hi. Do you want to describe some of your stuff? We're live on Iron Realm at the moment, but if you're sure what happened was um I didn't start making flat earth models. Um someone just commissioned me to make them. And uh it took off from there really. People just started asking for them and um, I just started making them as as they asked and then uh Darren Nesbitt was next, he wanted the model made, so had that one made. Uh, Martin Kenny's cosmic egg that has a moth that I could just have. The uh, Chinese thousand year old map. The original one that I made was that. The person wanted a dome. And um, there's no one, no North Pole on there. And yeah, just people ask how they specifically want it made, and then I'll make it for them. They're so, awesome, dude. Yeah. That one's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know a few guys in the States who will be going, do you do shipping to America? They're awesome, man. Yeah, definitely. And the thing is, I had to take that into consideration. And so most of the work is made from um, uh, high-density foam board. Yeah. And so it's light to ship across, uh, across the pond. Um, Otherwise, if it weighed too much, if I made it out of wood, for example, it would weigh a lot. So the fact that they're really lightweight uh, helps with the shipping costs. So. That's cool, bro. Yeah, I've sent a few to the States as well, ones in Australia. 
<laughs> oh, they're awesome. I'll get rid of this, I'll be coming back to this table. I didn't even know it was here. I've wandered past it twice. I'll have a flick at the back. Okay, guys. See you in a bit, really. See ya. You be filmed. A filmer filming the filmer. This pretty amazing rig you've got here. What what do you call that thing? This is the iron stick. Yeah, I heard you say that's, yeah. Take my stick. Yeah, yeah, take my yeah. Stick. yeah. <laughs> that's named by uh, Flat Earth Ed himself, Walter Johnson named that. You have a toothpaste made, is that right? Yeah, I donated the uh, Thank Iron Realm to Oh, brilliant. Give it a go. It's crazy that all the toothpaste say not to be given to anyone under 12. And all the primary schools are saying must give the yeah. children, they must have toothpaste, must brush their teeth. Yeah. What are they going to do up with it? Take it daily. Take it daily. Yeah. Well, the go as mad as a hatter. Actually, legally, they cover themselves by saying not under 12. Did you know that? That the toothpaste box would say that? No, I didn't. Yeah, don't have a good one. They also tell you if you, you ingest it, it to go to accident control. emergency. Mums are buying for their kids all the time. It's crazy. So we're filming each other? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah stand up. <laughs> hey, chicken. I'm coming back for the interview in a bit. I'm going to wander off. I'm chickening off first. Go on. Yeah, your, your stick's bigger than mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening if we get cleared out of there by the looks of it. Yeah, not bad. We'll see if I can bomb in. Can I bomb in? I think we're, we're live on Iron Realm. Just uh, maybe a few thoughts on today's maybe an introduction. I've really enjoyed today. myself. Yeah. My name's Darren Nesbitt, yeah. for Iron Realm Media. <laughs> Good man, she loved that as a sign by. Good man. <laughs> I just want to thank Adam for the Iron Realm Media t-shirts. Yeah. It's, it's amazing, and I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you for that. I want to thank you for the toothpaste. Oh, Me too, yes. Yeah, you can get your fluoride free toothpaste, yeah, especially since it's three or four times more expensive than regular poisonous toothpaste. Yeah, that's, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pleasure, guys. Pleasure, guys. Spread the word. Yeah, good. So, I all had a good day then, yeah? Yes, it's been brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Right, I'm going to spin it round, have a last wander, and I'll catch you boys in a bit. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still on, still on. Last look. Say hi, guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, we got a couple of dickers. Yeah. <laughs> Stay. If you if you try and shy away, we, we met earlier, didn't You're we? Not did. real, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up now. Anyway, last look at the bar before we head back. And I assume everything's getting locked up because they're going to be putting. Big, uh, big secret. Yeah, they're going to be uh, setting up Martin Kenny's. Uh, big model so food and i'll uh hope you catch you all later and once it's finished i'll try and get a, a couple of pictures and have a wander around with it take it easy guys i'll catch you all soon